Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter, here with a quick video showing how to make a moving carousel horse card. I saw the Hero Arts stamp set with the carousel and I immediately wanted to go and stamp it and make a card where the horse moved up and down. That I just needed to figure that out. And I've got the swing and slide dies from Ellen Hudson. They're, they work great for a lot of different kinds of moving cards. So I'm taking my distress ink and pouncing it onto the stamp because I didn't want really heavy color. I wanted just some light color and I'm stamping it onto some Nina cardstock. And I wanted to extend the pole, but I didn't have a marker or anything that worked. So I used a pencil, just pulled one from my luminance hex chart, I was just trying to look through all the different sets of pencils that I have hex charts for to see which one was going to match this particular color, which of course isn't a full distress color, or I could have used a um, distress marker to finish that off. And then I sat and fussy cut out my little horse. Since it was only one horse, it wasn't all that bad. You could do this with coloring the horses, but I'm just going to leave it all very kind of white on white-ish, which is going to be really pretty in the long run. For the background of the card, I'm going to stamp the carousel top and two of the horses, one on either side, just so I have a little bit of a background for the moving horse. I decided not to do the bottom thing, the, the base of it, I'm not really sure why I didn't really think about it, but I don't miss it a whole lot. I'm still okay with the horses moving up and down and I do have some little embellishing that I'm going to be doing later. So decided that wasn't going to be a problem, but now you can see that my little horse moves up and down and I kind of had my pieces just put together so I could make sure that the length of everything was cut to the right place and everything before I started doing my die cutting. So I cut the hole in the middle, put a little strip of adhesive on the back so that I could put it through the hole. And I had to play around with it a little bit to figure out the right length so it would go up and down. And what I adhered it to in this is a piece of acetate. I cut the acetate bigger so I could figure out how long it had to be. And then I'm going to cut a little hole in the front so I have something to grab the tab by. But you could also pull it from the top instead of from the bottom. So the little topper that's on here, I did cut out a separate one so I could glue it on top and made a little channel in the top so that the end of the pole doesn't get stuck in there. And then I took a circle punch and punched a circle out of the bottom. You could do that with a die or something else as well because I needed to have somewhere for that that little acetate tab to sit. So that's going to sit inside of that and just check in and make sure everything works the way it ought to and then cut my acetate short. So give yourself a longer piece just so you have room to play around with it and make sure it all is still functional. And then I decided to do my coloring with some just liquid pearls. I just thought this would be really sweet. It would add to the magicalness without adding color to it. We just add a, a slight bit of pearlized sparkliness and I did some embellishing with it as well. So I put a little kind of a circle, semicircle around the whole opening to draw more attention to it. Did a little bit along the bottom to make sort of a base, almost like these horses are going around the carousel in the snow or something would be kind of a cool idea. And of course, once I got this out, I couldn't stop putting more on it. So I made a little tab. You can see the scallop circle at the very bottom that I put on the acetate. And then I put little sparkly snow in the sky because, you know, why not? <laughs> because it's a magical card, right? And uh, yeah, so once it was all finished, it moves up and down. Not really huge. It's not a huge movement, but it's enough to really be sweet and entertaining. And I thought it was really fun to make and it was a quick video for you, but I hope you learned something from it, even if it's just that acetate tip, because a lot of times the tab that we use kind of looks funny or something. So the acetate is one way to do a little tab for a card with movement on it. So lots more that you can learn here on the screen and you can click on links in the description as well if you want to go over to the blog and find some more information out you can do that and pin things to your pin board and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.